Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Flor Marota Natural Mix cigarettes from Mexico, which contain 17.5 milligrams of tar, 1.5 milligrams of nicotine, and 22 milligrams of carbon monoxide making these the strongest cigarettes I will have ever tried from Mexico. When compared to your normal full flavored cigarette that you might be able to buy at a convenience store in Mexico, these have just about double the tar, nicotine, and carbon monoxide content. These are crazy strong cigarettes, that is for sure. But that's not the only crazy thing about this pack of cigarettes because they also have a crazy price tag to go along with the crazy strength of them. I bought this pack of 20 at a luxury tobacco shop in Mexico City and it cost me 220 pesos or just about $13 USD with the current exchange rate. For that amount of money, you could buy three packs of Marlboro Reds at your local convenience store in Mexico. These are crazy expensive, that is for sure. And it goes without saying that these are most certainly not available at pretty much any convenience store in Mexico. Although I don't know that for sure. They might very well be, but I do doubt that, I will admit. But what makes these cigarettes right here worth the $13 price tag? Well, they are very much luxury artisanal cigarettes, that is for sure. They're hand rolled with rice paper and biodegradable filters. And the tobacco that fills each and every single one of the cigarettes is natural, additive-free, organic tobacco grown in San Luis Potosi, which is a state of Mexico in central Mexico. So yeah, Flor Marota, Flor Marota, I keep having trouble pronouncing the name, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It definitely seems to be going for the high-end, I want a natural cigarette from a small tobacco company crowd, that is for sure. That's definitely the crowd they're going for. They're definitely going for, uh, <laughs> they're definitely going for, hey, let's sell these cigarettes for a lot of money rather than selling a lot of cigarettes. That's definitely what they're going for. And uh, I really do hope that uh, these cigarettes are worth the money, I ain't gonna lie. I would hate to have to say that I feel like I wasted $13. Now, Flor Marota, as a brand, seems to have first come onto the Mexican cigarette market around about 2017. That's when I could find the first uh, result of the Flor Marota name as a cigarette company on Google. And so I'm figuring they probably came onto the Mexican cigarette market around that time. Now these days, Flor Marota also makes some herbal cigarettes as well um, that contain herbs on top of the tobacco. And I think they might also make a variety that is only herbal without any tobacco at all. I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me on that. But um, they're definitely going for the whole sort of, hey, look, we're a natural cigarette brand kind of crowd kind of thing. That's definitely what they're going for. I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to say though. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm looking forward to finding out whether these cigarettes are actually worth the price or not. And I certainly am looking forward to getting what is probably going to be a pretty big buzz in today's video as well. But what are my expectations for the Flor Marota Natural Mix cigarettes from Mexico? Well, my expectations, I will admit though, are not really the most positive. I'm kind of thinking taste-wise, I'm gonna get a more understated taste than not. I really do think that these cigarettes are going to be very, very, very full flavored just due to the tar and nicotine and carbon monoxide content. But I'm thinking that the actual distinct taste from them is probably going to be very, very, very understated. I'm thinking, of course, overwhelmingly, I am probably going to get a tobacco taste, maybe with hints of wood or citrus in there as well, but I will admit, I'm not really expecting much from these cigarettes taste-wise. Body-wise though, 
I am expecting a massive body just due to the tar and nicotine levels and also due to the fact that I seriously doubt there are any line of perforations on the filter of these cigarettes. I am thinking the body is going to be absolutely massive, but I could very well be wrong because I do think that the airflow is probably going to be slightly constricted. And due to that, I'm also thinking that the draw is going to be a little bit heavy as well. I'm also thinking that these cigarettes are probably going to be really, really, really rough if I had to guess. Probably like an 8 or a 9 out of 10, with 10 being the roughest and 1 being the smoothest. I am thinking these cigarettes are going to be crazy rough if I had to guess. Overall, what I'm expecting from this pack is a really high-end cigarette that doesn't really deliver a super interesting taste. I'm just kind of expecting it to be a natural cigarette that kind of just delivers a natural taste with nothing really too interesting going on, I will admit. That's kind of what I'm expecting from these cigarettes right here, but I certainly hope that my expectations are wrong and I certainly do hope that these are much more interesting than I think they're actually going to be. But without further ado, first off, before I go ahead and get one of these cigarettes all lit up, I gotta go ahead and go over the packaging. After I go over the packaging, I'm gonna go ahead and get the plastic wrap, the cellophane, whatever you wanna call it, all off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out, and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the Flor Moroda natural mix cigarettes from Mexico all lit up, and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think about them and whether they're worth the $13 price tag or not. But first off, as said, we gotta go ahead and go over the packaging. But before that, honestly, I need to stand up because my feet are very asleep. Like literally my foot right now, I have no control over what it's doing. I have been sitting crisscross applesauce on concrete for like the last 10 minutes kind of thing. I, my, my legs went asleep like five minutes ago without me noticing. And uh, yeah, they're really, really, really asleep and now it's distracting me. So there we go, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm just gonna stand up real quick and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I'm all good and everything like that kind of thing. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the packaging, which I do have a decent amount of stuff to talk about. But yeah, I gotta stand up, y'all. I gotta stand up. My feet fell completely asleep and my butt was falling a little bit asleep as well, that is for sure. And man, I'm just getting, ooh, knives in my leg right, oh! That hurt, y'all, that hurt. I'm just getting knives in my foot right now. I'm getting knives in my foot right now. That is not pleasant. Let's go ahead, ah, oh, man. Oh yeah, that was, my foot was very asleep, y'all. My foot was very asleep. <laughs> very, very, very asleep, that is for sure. All right, let's go ahead and sit back down. <laughs> let's go, maybe I shouldn't sit crisscross applesauce on concrete for this entire video. That might be a bad idea. Maybe I'll try to sit a little bit of a different way. All right, let's see. Oh man, okay, that was, that was maybe a bad idea. That was maybe a bad idea, that is for sure. I'm glad it only started kicking in after I got the intro all done though. But uh, first off, as said, before I go ahead and get one of these cigarettes right here all lit up, I gotta go ahead and go over the packaging, which I will admit is a very, very, very interesting shape. It's almost a square. It is technically a rectangle. It is not quite a square, but it's almost a square, which is quite interesting if I do say so myself. The cigarettes, from what I know, are vertical inside this pack, so they are definitely going to be much shorter cigarettes than not, that is for sure. And I'm gonna go and try to sit down just a little bit kind of thing. I'm going crisscross applesauce again just because it's most comfy. It's the most comfy way to uh, record a video, but uh, I'm not thinking my, uh, my, my legs are gonna appreciate it, that is for sure. But uh, yeah, no, this packaging, very, very, very interesting shape, if I do say so myself. And overall, much more simple, natural look than not that is for sure. They're really trying to drive home that they are a natural, artisanal cigarette with this packaging, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We can see the background on the packaging is very much a sort of, almost like, I'd have to say rough, natural paper sort of uh, paperboard look, I definitely have to say. They're really going for the whole sort of like natural brown and white look with the background of the packaging. I'm sure they could have made it just a pure white or something like that kind of thing, but they purposefully chose the sort of like natural look to really drive home that these are indeed natural cigarettes. It really does make sense in all honesty. Now the details on the front of the packaging are all in green. We can see in the center of the packaging right here, there's what looks like almost a, I'd have to say a dream catcher, I wanna say is the right way of putting it. This almost looks like a dream catcher. I'm not exactly sure what it is in all honesty, 
honesty, but the design is quite intricate when you look at it up close. There's like a flower in the center, and then there's like spikes going out on either every side and everything like that kind of thing. And then there's just like very, very, very flowy lines going all the way around and everything like that kind of thing. Very, very, very intricate and intricate, intricate sort of like dream catcher design, I definitely have to say. We can see hanging off of the circle right here though, there are like three leaves going just down kind of thing. Three leaves, I thought they were feathers at first, I will admit, but they are indeed leaves. They're held on by like two dots at the very top kind of thing, and I assume these are probably tobacco leaves, although I don't know that for sure, I will admit. This has a little bit of a sort of embossment to it, I will admit as well though. I don't know whether it's actually supposed to be embossed or whether it's just the ink on the uh, paperboard making it just seem a little bit embossed kind of thing just because of how it was printed. I'm not exactly sure, I will admit, but it does seem like it has a little bit of texture to it. I'll have to let y'all know after I get the uh, plastic wrap all off. Below this design right here though, in dark green, it just says Floor Moroda right there and then copyright. These are indeed copyrighted or these, uh, these are indeed copyrighted. The brand name is indeed copyrighted. There's no sort of drop shadow. There's there's no sort of um, like uh, like shading or anything like that kind of thing. It just says Flor Marota right there in a very nice cursive text kind of thing. A very nice luxury look, if I do say so myself. A very nice simple luxury look uh, at that, I definitely have to say. Below the actual flow, mo Flor Marota logo, I keep having trouble pronouncing the name, I ain't gonna lie, but below the logo though, it just says uh, Mezcla Natural. Now Mezcla Natural translates to a natural mix or natural mixture in Spanish. Um, um, which is why I've been saying natural mixture all throughout this video instead of mezcla natural, but that is the actual variety name of these cigarettes right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then under that text, which is of course also in green, it just says uh, Mezcla Artisanal de Tobacco, which just means, uh, I wanna say, artisanal tobacco mixture. I wanna say that's what it means. And then under that, it just says that this pack of cigarettes contains 20 Labrados Hechos a Mano. Um, now, Labrados apparently means, oh, I translated it before, that. it means carving. It means carving. Now, I'm pretty sure Google Translate's doing me dirty kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it means something else on this pack because if what Google Translate says is right, it would mean that it's um, that this pack of cigarettes contains 20 handmade carvings. I'm pretty sure these cigarettes are not carved if I had to guess they're hand rolled. If I had to guess, Labrados is probably maybe a fancy way of saying cigarette or cigar or something like that kind of thing in Spanish. I really don't know in all honesty, and there is a spider on my tripod. I'll just let him be for the moment kind of thing. But if he comes at me, I'm coming at him. Um, I don't know exactly what Labrados means in all honesty. Google Translate told me it means carvings. But uh, either way, this pack of cigarettes certainly does contain 20 hand-rolled cigarettes. I don't know what Labrados means, but I'm sure it means something not carvings, if I had to guess. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to the front of the packaging besides the warning label right here, which just has a woman with an O2 mask on. And uh, right here in yellow and black, with or yellow text with a black background, it just says uh, Fumar and Crementa Aldano por COVID-19, which just means smoking can make COVID-19 worse, essentially. Of course, these are indeed registered for sale in Mexico. So they do indeed have to have a warning label covering up 30% of the front of the packaging which is very much a shame. This packaging would look a lot better and a lot more natural and a lot more to the brand's liking, I'm sure, if they didn't have to put a warning label on the front of it. But overall though, what are my thoughts on this pack of cigarettes? Is it distinct from a distance? I'd have to say, with the colors they use, it's definitely much more distinct from a distance than not that is for sure. And up close, it's a pretty interesting look. We can really tell up close that they're really going for the whole sort of like natural look kind of thing. There's a really nice intricate design right here. This looks quite luxury. If I do say so myself. They're definitely going for the whole sort of high-end artisanal luxury cigarette type of thing. And that spider is just swinging around in the wind now. Grab my bottle of water, just get him whisked away, just a little bit kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't hurt the spider. I just grabbed his web and just kind of tossed him to the side kind of thing. I hope he doesn't come back at me and try to kill me or anything like that kind of thing for revenge, but we'll find out. Um, off that little bit of a side topic though, um, what was I about to say? I was just thinking, I think I was just talking about how, yeah, this pack of cigarettes really comes off like, excuse me, a sort of like natural artisanal high end luxury cigarette. And you can really tell just by looking at the packaging that these are marketed as being natural organic cigarettes kind of thing. They're really going for the whole sort of natural, I hate to say hippie sort of look. And um, you can really tell that these are just 
just they're just marketed as being natural cigarettes if i saw this pack of cigarettes without knowing anything about it kind of thing and that's exactly what that's exactly how I first came across these cigarettes. I saw them in the tobacco shop I bought these at in Mexico, and I knew nothing about the brand or anything like that. And I saw these, and I was like, what are these herbal cigarettes kind of thing? What are these, like, natural cigarettes just based off the packaging? I had no clue if they actually were, but the packaging really does a good job of emphasizing the fact that these are indeed natural cigarettes. Whoever designed this packaging, let me just put it this way, they knew what they were doing, and they, do a, they, they did a good job. I got to give them props for it. Now, I don't like everything about the packaging kind of thing. I'm not really a big fan of these sort of, like, I hate to say, hippie-esque designs kind of thing. I'm not really a big fan of those sort of designs, but everything has a market, and I gotta respect that kind of thing. And so I definitely do think that this packaging is certainly much better than not. Definitely quite distinct from a distance, just with the green and the natural background. And it has a pretty interesting look up close, but nothing too complex if I do say so myself. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I like how this pack of cigarettes looks. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the side of the packaging. We can see the side of the packaging, the natural look continues. We can see all of the text on this side of the packaging though is not in green. It is all in black but it's of course all on that sort of like natural um sort of like paperboard cardboard paper like texture or to like um, background to say it correctly kind of thing it's all on that sort of background it just says on this side right here in black it just says mezcla original contendo uh, which just means original mix contains uh, tobacco natural white agua so it just means natural tobacco and water that's what these cigarettes contain apparently under that there is a little bit of a i guess a date stamp or something like that kind of thing right there it just says fn011 slash 1022 i don't know what that means if i had to guess though probably that these 11 so that's day if i'm looking at it as a date um for how they do dates in mexico i'm thinking if this is actually a date thing it's these were probably made on the 11th day of the 10th month of 2022 so the 10th month of 2022 is what october right so these would have been made on the 11th of october 2022 so these are a little bit old possibly if i do say so myself but i don't know that for sure because i don't actually know if this is actually a date code or not but if i had to guess it probably is so yeah these are a little bit old cigarettes i hope they are still quite fresh especially since i paid 13 dollars for them moving on from this area though we can just see uh, up top that we just have to get some more very bold um text uh in black it just says para venta exclusiva and mexico venta prohibita a morna a minoris the edad i don't oh my goodness my feet are falling asleep again Whew. wow that hurts okay wow wow okay i'm just gonna sit like this for a minute wow that so i always forget how bad sitting on concrete messes me up i even brought a chair to mexico with me specifically to record videos in and here i am sitting on concrete anyway i never learn in all honesty um but as said it just says uh, paraventa exclusiva and mexico which just means for exclusive sale in mexico we can see that at the top right there and then it just says venta prohibita a minoris de edad um now i don't know what the the uh, de edad means but i do know what venta prohibita a minoris means that means um sale prohibited to minors um but i don't know what the last part of that means and i forgot to translate it before this video i will admit but you know, that's what it says just up here on the second line. Then under that, it just says un producto de tobacco organico mexicano s dot a p dot i dot d c v a v del canal number 102 square or e s q a v ferro carril uh, san cano pachua um, de soto hidalgo hidalgo um, cp420 um, eight, four. So the headquarters for the manufacturer of these cigarettes is um, located in Hildago, um, which is a city somewhere in Mexico. I will admit I don't know exactly where. And the company which produces these cigarettes is the, I guess, the Organic Tobacco Company of Mexico, I do suppose. Um, I tried looking up their website, it didn't come up, their website don't work, so I, I don't know anything about the brand other than what I was able to find from third-party sources, I will admit, um, but either way, 
interesting that is for sure. Moving on below this though, we can just see there is the uh, tar, nicotine, and carbon monoxide levels on for, uh, for this pack of cigarettes. Of course, these cigarettes contain 17.5 milligrams of tar, 1.5 milligrams of nicotine, and 22 milligrams of carbon monoxide, which is extremely heavy if I do say so myself. And then under that, we, they just put their email right there, and it just says contacto uh, at tobaccoorganico.mx. Um, I tried opening that website, tobaccoorganico.mx. It does not work. That website is not live. Um, I could not get it to work. So uh, maybe that email works. I don't know, but uh, their website certainly don't. And that is a shame because I was actually interested in taking a look at um, some first hand resources and everything like that kind of thing. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this side. Basically just tells you all the information you need to know while still emphasizing the sort of natural look with the background and everything like that. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the other side of the packaging, which of course contains a warning label. After all, in Mexico, 30% of the front of the packaging, 100% of one side and 100% of the back of the packaging must have a warning label on it. So, and this pack of cigarettes is no different. The warning label on the side of the packaging has a black background to it with yellow text on it, which just says Fumar Pueda Agravar El Dono uh, uh, El um, Dano uh, Por COVID-19, which just means uh, smoking can make COVID-19 worse or something like that kind of thing. And then it just says, oh man, and I completely forgot to translate the warning label on the back of the packaging. Oh, well, it is what it is. It just says, warning, a secretary of health informs um, las personas fumadores tienen el doble de risco de sorro uh, casos severos de covid 19 why the moro por esta infection which i want to say just means people who smoke have double the risk of catching COVID-19 or having serious issues from COVID-19 or something like that. Uh, maybe I didn't actually need to translate this before this video because I've seen this warning label before. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Under that though, it just says that this pack of cigarettes or these cigarettes contain uh, cyanide, cyanuro in Spanish means cyanide um, or cyanide in Spanish is cyanuro. Um, apparently though, these are additive free so they shouldn't contain cyanuro, but who knows in all honesty. Um, it just says gas venoso que destroyo el uh, tejido pulmonar, which just means that these are a, uh, that these contain a um, destructive gas that can destroy your lungs or something like that kind of thing. I guess cyanide is probably bad for you, right? It is literally a poison after all. Um, and then under that, it just says, uh, see queries, uh, Dejar de Fumar, Lama L, uh, 800 911 2000 right there, which just means, hey, if you want to quit smoking, call this number. That's Mexico's quit smoking line. But, um, that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging. So now let's go ahead and move on to the top of the packaging. We can see the cigarettes just a little bit through the gap right there. The top of the packaging though, very much stays in line with the front of the packaging look and everything like that kind of thing. We get the same just sort of, um, natural-esque background, I definitely have to say. And in green, on the top of the packaging, it just says Flor Morado, uh, from Flor Morada right there. I keep mispronouncing the name, I will admit. It just says Flor Morada right there, uh, of course, with the copyright symbol as well. Pretty simple look for the front, for the top of the packaging, just lets you know what these cigarettes are. And since it's all in green, it also lets you know what variety this uh, pack of cigarettes is as well, as I want to say the other varieties of Flor Morada's um, are different colors kind of thing. Like one of them is purple. Um, and then I'm sure there might be another one or something like that kind of thing that is a different color. I do know the only other one I've seen in person though is purple. So uh, the, these be th that being green also lets you know what variety these cigarettes are as well, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. Moving on to the bottom of the packaging though, we have a little bit of a different look. It's got a very, very, very green background if I do say so myself, which we have not seen on the packaging so far. I do suppose that's probably to emphasize that these are indeed the natural mixture, the 100% percent tobacco um, cigarettes that they make that contain no herbs or anything like that kind of thing. In white, it just says uh, tobacco sin additives, uh, sin additives, uh, which just means um, additive-free tobacco. And then we can just see to the side of that, the barcode is right there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the packaging. Uh, the shop I bought this pack of cigarettes from did indeed have a label on the back that just states the price and everything like that. We can just see 220 pesos. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys about the packaging. Overall, definitely pretty good packaging in my personal opinion. I might not be the biggest fan of some of the designs kind of thing. I'm not really a big fan of hippie-esque designs and they're really going for that, but their target demographic is people who have money and want to spend money on natural tobacco products and everything like that kind of thing. So it makes sense for them to be going for the whole sort of, I guess, hippie-esque design if I had to guess. And either way, the design really does drive home, especially with the sort of like natural looking background and everything like that, that these are a natural cigarette. I definitely do think whoever put this packaging together 
together did a great job and they're pretty distinct from a distance and they look pretty good up close i like how this packaging looks and it is very 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 different as well from pretty much every other pack of cigarettes i've seen in mexico so far it's certainly a very 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 different look that is for sure before I go ahead and get the plastic wrap all off, though, since I think I'm pretty much done talking about the packaging, I do real quick just want to take a little bit of water, uh, take a little bit of a sip of water, because my throat's just dying a little bit. I will admit. Now that I've taken a sip of water, let's go ahead and see if I can get this um, plastic wrap all off. I don't know how easily this is going to come off. I will admit they've got it pretty well sealed up. I can tell by how it's sealed, that they literally used a seal gun to seal this all up. And um, since I had to come on a flight here, I don't have any knives or scissors with me. Eh, that just got plastic in my mouth. Yuck, <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh man, I hate that. Um, got it a little bit ripped open let's see there we go all right yeah i'm getting it open a little bit of a pain in the ass to open a little bit harder to open than uh than uh, your normal pack of cigarettes it is for sure um but let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all out and before i go ahead and get it all opened up let's just go ahead and real quick just take a look at the quality of the packaging. Now this is very much a slide pack kind of thing. As we can tell, this is very much a slide pack and the slide works both ways kind of thing, which is both a good thing and a bad thing if I do say so myself. But the quality of the packaging overall seems pretty good. Now the texture of the uh, packaging is very much, I'd have to say, uh, almost a sort of like silky sort of matte uh, texture, except when you run your fingers over the text on it, where then it becomes a sort of like sticky, glossy texture kind of thing. The texture of this packaging is really, 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 right, really, really, really nice, really nice, high quality packaging, if I do say so myself, but very simple. So it doesn't really look high quality, but um, yeah, no, it's it's decent quality packaging, if I do say so myself. Definitely um, quality that it should be, because these are $13 cigarettes after all. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and I do suppose get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. I don't think there's any foil inside this pack, but I'm looking forward to seeing how the cigarettes look. That is for sure. But as said, the, as said though, the quality of the packaging certainly is much better than not. But let's just go ahead and get this all slid out. And oh no, oh no, I have no clue what this says. All right, so all of the cigarettes are right here and everything like that kind of thing. I'll get one of those out momentarily. We get to the side, there's nothing going on. The back, there's nothing going on. And of course, there's stuff going on on the top and the bottom as well. There's a bunch of text right here. This all has that same sort of natural look that we see on the background of the front of the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. Um, really just sort of like a, a natural cardboard-esque look. This is very interesting though, the lid and everything like the very, 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 very interesting way of packaging the cigarettes that is for sure a way that I've seen done similarly before, but not quite like this, especially since there's a little bit of like a holder right here kind of thing. Oh, I actually have seen that before, just not quite like, I've seen this before kind of thing, but not, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. I've seen this sort of like packaging before, like slide packaging before. Like, it's not like I haven't seen slide packaging before kind of thing. I have, I've smoked cigarettes that have slide packaging before, but I've never seen it quite done like this. Let me just put it that way. I think that's the right way of putting it. Um, there's a bunch of text in green right here though, which I'm gonna go ahead and read off to you guys real quick. I have absolutely no clue what it means though, but it just says, El Tobacco de Flor Mor Morada es el resultado um, del respecto, respeto um, por la planta. Um, so I assume they're saying that the, um, that the tobacco used is made in respect to the plant. Um, seleccionamos uh, las merjas, uh, rosas um, de extraordinarios, tobaccos mexicanos, producidos por familias uh, agregadas en su tierra y cultivo. So I assume that means produced by Mexican families who are really good at cultivating tobacco. I really don't know in all honesty. Then it says, Sugamos un proceso artisanal libre de pesticidas, additives o, additives o uh, conservados, lagrado el sabor y la persa uh, que distinguisha nuza mezcla, um, which I assume just means that these are an artisanal cigarette made without pesticides, additives, or um, like preservatives um, and stuff like that kind of thing. I don't know exactly 
what all of this means, but that certainly is a market segmentation spiel right there, that is for sure. A lot of high-end cigarettes tend to have market segmentation spiels to make the consumer, to make whoever's buying the cigarette just feel a little bit better about their purchase, and certainly this cigarette is no different. I don't know what this says though, of course, because I don't speak Spanish, pretty much at all, I will admit. I can kind of infer what it might mean, but I don't know that for sure. So as such, I think after this video, I'm gonna take a photo of all of this text right here, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right here so you guys can actually read what the text means and everything like that kind of thing, but I'm not gonna know until after this video. Alrighty though, it's, it's gone now. So uh, let's go ahead and get one of these cigarettes all out. And let's just go ahead and take a look at what these cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. But uh, first off, I am going to go ahead and real quick, just get that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the slide back into the uh, packaging itself. But uh, taking a look at these cigarettes, wow, they are quite thin, if I do say so myself. And they're also, they also have a very interesting shape to them. I'd have to say these are a little bit cone-shaped kind of thing. And they're also made with papers that look a lot like raws, that is for sure. I, I, I don't think these are actually made with raw papers. Apparently, these are made with rice papers, uh, which is interesting if I do say so myself. But I, if I had to guess, they're not made with raws. They're just made with papers that look a lot like raws because they're the whole sort of like natural papers and everything like that kind of thing, if I had to guess. It's just... Um, folded in at the top right here, just like you might see a uh, hand-rolled cigarette be folded in for storing or something like that kind of thing. And of course, these are indeed a hand-rolled cigarette, so it does make sense. We can see the filter definitely has a very, very, very different look than most cigarette filters. I've seen photos of biodegradable filters before, and they tend to look like this. And uh, this certainly does look like a biodegradable filter, that is for sure. I don't know how quick these filters would biodegrade, but I assume uh, quicker than a normal cigarette filter, that is for sure. Are there any lines of perforation on the filter? I brushing that off just a little bit kind of thing. I am not seeing any. I don't think there are any lines of perforation on the filter. I kind of feel like there is, but because I see some like dots and stuff, but I don't think it's actually holes in the filter. I think it's just dots I'm seeing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that there is no lines of perforation on this cigarette right here, if I had to guess. I don't think there are any lines of perforation. Very, very, very interesting. If I do say so myself, that is for sure. But that is what I was expecting, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And my feet are going to sleep once again, so I'm just gonna stretch out my feet once again, and now I'm gonna go ahead and smell the cigarette right off the bat. What does this cigarette smell like? Actually smells really good. That actually smells really interesting, like, Hmm. I'm gonna just smell the inside of the pack. There's an ant in trying to get to my cigarettes. I can't believe this. Well, the inside of the pack kind of smells like glue, I will admit, as most insides of cigarette packs do. But the actual cigarette itself has a very, very, very mild tobacco scent to it. Hmm. I'm gonna get another one out because I'm feeling like the smell might have dissipated off of that one a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, it's a very, very, very mild tobacco scent. I'm really not getting much of a smell at all. And it might be because this is all closed up. I'm not really exactly sure in all honesty. But it's a very, very, very mild tobacco smell. I'd have to say very much like a very mild sort of... Hmm. Almost fruity brown sugar sort of tobacco smell. I don't, I, I, I've never thought to say those words before in description of the smell of a cigarette. But it's like an almost fruity, brown sugar sort of smell. If these taste like that, I will have no complaints on my behalf. That will be amazing. But it is a very, very, very mild smell, that is for sure. And one other thing I wanted to do before I go ahead and get one of these cigarettes all lit up, is I did want to take a look at the blend of the tobacco as well. So I'm just gonna see if I can sacrifice one of these cigarettes real quick just to get an idea of what the blend of the tobacco is like. I would love to know what the blend of the tobacco is like off of these cigarettes. I'm not actually sacrificing the cigarette, I suppose, just simply because I am gonna fold it back up, but I'm not gonna be smoking this cigarette just simply because I wanna smoke these cigarettes how they were intended to be smoked, not take it apart and then smoke it. And I need something to like poke it up kind of thing. Let's see if I can use this little bit of a stick right here to poke up the paper just a little bit, just to get an idea 
of what's going on on the inside of the paper. And from what I can tell, wow, that is like really, really, really bright tobacco. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that is super bright tobacco. I'm thinking these might be made. Virginia tobacco tends to have a very, very, very bright look to it. And so I'm thinking these might have been made mainly with Virginia tobacco. Very, very, very interesting, that is for sure. Oh, wow, yeah, and I can smell it a lot more distinctly now, now that I've actually got the paper all opened up. Very, very, very interesting. That makes sense, though, of course. Smelling it now, I'm still getting that sort of... fruity, yeah, almost brown sugar sort of smell off these. Fruity, almost brown sugar smell. I've never had a cigarette smell like quite, quite, quite like this one. That is so interesting if I do say so myself. Very, very, very interesting. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and fold that just back up just a little bit like that kind of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and shove this back in the packaging because now that we've taken a look at the actual look of the cigarettes itself, I do think it is time for me to go ahead and get one of my Flor Marota Natural Mix Cigarettes from Mexico all lit up. You know, definitely looks quite different from your normal cigarette, that is for sure. This is definitely not your standard look. It's got a corn, uh, a cone, corn, a cone-like shape to it, made with what looks like raw papers. It's got a biodegradable filter, which is very different from the norm, and it's actually closed on the top kind of thing, and it's very, very, very thin as well. Definitely the filters are, I'd have to say, like a slim filter kind of thing. Very, very, very interesting stuff, if I do say so myself, and I'm looking forward to seeing how well this smokes, how good it tastes, and how strong it is, that is for sure as well. You know, I'm looking forward to getting this all lit up. I will admit, I really wasn't all of that excited to, I mean, like I was excited to try them kind of thing, but I wasn't really actually excited to smoke one because I, I really didn't think that it was gonna be like super good before smelling the cigarette. But now that I've smelled one of these cigarettes right here, oh man, I'm looking forward to seeing how they actually taste because the smell is fantastic. It is a little more understated than not, so I am thinking the taste is probably going to be a little bit understated as well, but I'm thinking more so than not, they might taste really unique, really good. That's what I'm hoping for kind of thing. I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick though. Well, I do suppose without further ado though, no more procrastinating. It is now time for me to go ahead and get one of mine, Flor Morada Natural Mix Cigarettes from Mexico, all lit up. And now it is time for me to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. Without further ado though, first off, let's go ahead and get this lit up. And I, I was about to say, first off, I gotta go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket, but then I remembered I actually do already have my lighter out of my pocket. <laughs> Most of the time I forget to get my lighter out of my pocket, but this time I forgot that I actually took my lighter out of my pocket. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, very, very, very much a slim cigarette that is for sure. And very, very, very short, if I do say so myself as well. Hopefully that'll do it as a screenshot. We will find out, you know what I'm saying? We will find out. Right off the bat though, the taste of these is very, 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 very interesting. Much more interesting than I thought they were gonna be at the beginning of this video. And these are probably going to be, even with the size of these, I'm thinking these are probably going to burn a pretty good amount of time, that is for sure. These are definitely slower smoking cigarettes than not, and I can already tell that. Um, even with the size of these, like these are really, really, really short cigarettes, but. I think they're gonna be really long burning. <sighs> the taste of the cigarette though, right off the bat, is definitely a little bit more understated than not, but since I've smelled the cigarette, I have a better idea of what it tastes like, and it pretty much tastes like the smell of the cigarette, in all honesty. It definitely does not taste distinctly different. The taste of the Flor Marota, um, 
Morada, Morota, Morada, uh, natural mixed cigarette from Mexico, is very much like a brown sugar spicy fruit taste. Yep, brown sugar spicy fruit. It's not like distinctly a citrusy taste coming in from the fruit kind of thing. It almost comes off like like a grapefruit or a pomegranate or something like that kind of thing. That's pretty much what it comes off like. It doesn't come off like an apple. It doesn't come off like a grape. It comes off like almost a like a grapefruit or a pomegranate type of taste with like a little bit of citriness in there as well. But usually citrusy tastes from cigarettes are very much like a lemon-like citrusy taste. This is like a pomegranate citrusy-like taste. Very, very, very interesting if I do say so myself. And then you also get an extremely distinct sort of brown sugar, almost molasses-like taste in there as well. So yeah, the taste of these cigarettes is very much like a brown sugar molasses with a sort of almost spicy, citrusy, pomegranate or grapefruit-like taste. These taste fantastic and they have got to be, I, 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 these, are, these have got to be one of the most unique tasting cigarettes I have ever had. Wow, my expectations were low and these have far exceeded my expectations already. Let's go and test the body though. The body is pretty small. And the reason the body is pretty small, and actually it's far below average kind of thing, it's a really, really, really small body for how much tar, how much nicotine, and how much carbon monoxide is in this cigarette right here. It is a very small body, that is for sure. Um, the reason the body is so small is because the draw and the airflow are really, really, really tight kind of thing. The airflow, these cigarettes are, are pretty tightly packed, not super, super, super tightly packed, but they are pretty tightly packed. And then the draw through the disposable filter is very, 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 very heavy as well. Not airy at all. You can definitely tell there is no perforation on this cigarette but it is an extremely tight draw, almost too dry, almost too dry, almost too tight for my personal liking, if I do say so myself, but still that taste makes it worth it kind of thing. That taste makes it worth it. These cigarettes taste fantastic. It's worth the tight draw. It's worth the tight airflow. It's worth the small body kind of thing. The taste of these cigarettes is absolutely godly. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And definitely though, as we're getting through the cigarette though, the body is opening up a little bit more kind of thing. The airflow is getting a little bit more open and same with the draw. The draw is opening up as the airflow is opening up as well. But how rough and how smooth are these cigarettes? Well, they're definitely less rough than I was expecting. I was expecting these cigarettes to be like an eight or a nine out of 10. I'd actually have to say these are more like a six or a seven out of 10 kind of thing depending on the hit you take. If you take a small hit, these are insanely smooth. If you take a big hit, they're a little bit more rough kind of thing. I'd have to say for hits that I normally take, um, they are just about like a six or a seven out of 10 kind of thing. They hit like a normal full flavored cigarette. They're not really any more rough than a normal cigarette though, in all honesty. But yeah, I am very much impressed. I am very, very, very much impressed. Wow. And yeah, I can definitely tell these cigarettes are hitting as well kind of thing, or this specific, not these cigarettes, this specific cigarette is hitting. I can tell that this cigarette is quite tarry. I can definitely tell that it's got quite a bit of nicotine in it. I can definitely tell as well that there is a decent amount of carbon monoxide in it as well. I can definitely tell that these are extremely, extremely, extremely strong cigarettes. It is very easy to tell that is for sure. You can taste the tar right off the bat. in a good way. It's not like a bad tar taste. It's a good tar taste kind of thing. <sighs> because that tar is making the taste of the cigarette just so unique. But you know, to summarize the taste once again, I'd have to say it's very much like a almost spicy on your tongue sort of fruit-like citrus taste with molasses and brown sugar in there as well. A very, very, very interesting taste that is for sure. A lot of Mexican cigarettes tend to taste like brown sugar and molasses. That's what I've noticed. But this is just taking it to another level. This is adding another intricacy on top of the brown sugar and molasses. I mean, like, I really was not expecting this when I started this video. I really was expecting these to be all price, no bite kind of thing. I was expecting these just to be overpriced crap. I'll be frank. I was expecting them to be overpriced crap with not much going on. These have so much going on. 
and to me at least, these are setting the standards for what natural cigarettes should taste like. This has such an interesting taste. <sighs> wow. But even with how strong these cigarettes are, the buzz I'm getting from it is not overwhelming. These are a very, very, very slow burning cigarettes. The buzz is very much more of a slow burn, I definitely have to say. And it doesn't come on quite as intensely as um, normal cigarettes from Mexico, I assume because these are added to free. The uh, body is definitely not super big as well, and the airflow and the draw definitely helps you just maintain a very nice but big, mellow buzz. But it doesn't come on super heavy or heavy or anything like that kind of thing. It is just a very nice, relaxing, mildly heavy buzz, even with these being so strong. And at least this cigarette right here is rolled very, very, very well as well. A hand-rolled cigarette, I would hope it would be well-rolled kind of thing, and this certainly is well-rolled if I do say so myself. But yeah, I am overall very, very, very impressed with the taste of these cigarettes, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is getting more and more and more tarry as we get towards the bottom of the cigarette, to be expected with the insane levels of tar that is inside these cigarettes right here. But um, nonetheless, the taste is still fantastic. I'm still getting that really nice sort of molasses brown sugar taste with the hints of sort of a fruit-like um, taste as well. I'm getting almost sort of like an apple taste now kind of thing. I'd have to say it's like a mixture of like a grapefruit, um, like a, a grapefruit sort of like apple sort of citrusy taste kind of thing. That's the taste I'm getting from these cigarettes right here, and they're completely natural cigarettes. That's crazy. That is crazy. I love it. These are setting the standard for me for what, excuse me, a natural, excuse me, for what a natural cigarette should taste like. American Spirit, y'all gotta up your game. Every other natural cigarette, y'all gotta up your game kind of thing. For what a, for, for these being a, a completely 100% natural cigarette, these are fantastic. There are some things I don't like about the cigarette, of course, which I'll be covering in just a couple minutes, but more so than not, I am a pretty big fan of this cigarette, and I am having to get a relit. It did go out. <sighs> let's go and test the body one more time, though, before I hit the filter. We're almost at the filter, so let's go and test the body one more time. And the body is still definitely more small than not, but it did definitely get bigger as we get towards the bottom, of the, as, as, as I got towards the bottom of the cigarette. But uh, I think I have one more hit left, so I'm gonna go and take that one last hit. And then after that, I'm gonna go and give you guys my final thoughts on this cigarette right here. So I'm gonna go and stub this out. Stubs out pretty easily if I do say so myself. So um, what are my final thoughts on the Floor Murata natural mix cigarettes from Mexico. These have an insane amount of tar. They cost... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but people are starting to play music. They cost a lot of money kind of thing. And um, yeah, I... At the beginning of this video, that's really distracting. That's really distracting. At the beginning of this video, I really wasn't expecting much from these cigarettes right here, I will admit. I was expecting them to be just really expensive, boring tasting, natural cigarettes kind of thing. That's pretty much what I was expecting, I will admit. And damn, was I wrong. Man, oh man, I was so wrong. I was so wrong about how these cigarettes were gonna taste and just how these cigarettes were in general kind of thing. I was completely wrong. My expectations were almost completely wrong. I am very, very, very impressed. Overall, I think the packaging is really, really, really good. It really drives home that these are a natural cigarette. It really drives home that these are a high-end cigarette kind of thing. This looks like a higher-end natural cigarette just with the background and the simplistic look and everything like that kind of thing. Yet, yeah, just a sort of very nice look at the same time kind of thing. It's not like too simplistic by any means, but it just tells you what you need to know and, and really drives home that these are indeed a natural cigarette kind of thing. The packaging looks fantastic. I really like that these come up like this kind of thing. And I 
I really like the market segmentation spiel right here as well. The cigarettes definitely look a lot more interesting than not. They literally look like they're hand rolled with raw paper. And to be honest, they very well may have been. Um, the, 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 the taste of the cigarettes though is really what's most impressive to me. I got no paper taste, no additive taste, no chemical taste, of course kind of thing. I suppose that should probably be expected kind of thing. But yeah, no, no paper taste. I was a little bit scared. I might get a little bit of a paper taste at the beginning of this video. I can't remember if I said, but I was a little bit scared that I might've gotten a little bit of a paper taste. And thankfully, no paper taste or anything like that kind of thing. I got a really, really, really nice sort of citrus, ci citrusy, um, apricot, sort of apple, grapefruit sort of taste from the cigarettes. And then as I smoked more of the cigarette, the sort of brown sugar molasses taste that was also coming through as an undertone at the beginning got more and more and more intense and actually became the overtone of the cigarettes. This is not only a really interesting tasting cigarette, but it's also a little bit more dynamic than not kind of thing. As you, as it gets more tarry, that molasses brown sugar taste gets a lot more intense. Very, very, very interesting taste from these cigarettes right here. I mean, like the body, is nothing big kind of thing. It's a pretty small body if I do say so myself. The airflow gets bigger as you get through kind of thing, but overall more so than not, the airflow is decently constricted. And same with the draw kind of thing. The draw is very, very, very heavy if I do say so myself. But all of those factors kind of thing mean that these cigarettes are actually quite smooth. They're not like significantly smoother than a normal full flavored cigarette from Mexico, but for how much tar and how much nicotine these have in them, they are quite smooth if I do say so myself. Overall, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I am extremely impressed by the Flor Morada Natural Mix cigarettes from Mexico. I'm so impressed. But let's go ahead and talk about some things I don't like about these cigarettes, and that would be the, the body, the airflow, and the draw. It's just a little bit too much for me in all honesty kind of thing. Uh, the body is a little bit too small for my preference. The airflow is a little bit too tight for my preference, and the draw is a little bit too heavy for my preference, but still, these cigarettes taste absolutely fantastic. While those might be complaints, in all honesty, they are very minor complaints because honestly, it kind of just suits the theme of the cigarette and it's really not bad at all kind of thing. It's really not bad at all. And it's it's might be a little bit annoying to me kind of thing, but it's not a big deal kind of thing. It's not a big deal. So what is the rating I'm thinking for the Flor Marota natural mixed cigarettes from Mexico? What is the rating I'm thinking? Well, they're really expensive and they're hard to find kind of thing. You can, you can literally only find these cigarettes at like high-end tobacco shops kind of thing. Most tobacco shops and no convenience stores I've ever seen carry these cigarettes. Most tobacco shops I've seen do not carry these. I've never seen a convenience store carry these. You really do have to go to a high-end store to find these cigarettes right here. And they're $13 USD. These are insanely expensive. But honestly, even if these were $13 USD, in the United States, I still think they would be worth the price. I do think they're a little bit overpriced in Mexico kind of thing. They are three times the price of a pack of Marlboros, but they are insanely high quality and insanely unique tasting for what they are. Are they worth the price? To me, they were worth the price to try. Would I buy a pack of them again? I would, but they could by no means ever be a daily cigarette of mine kind of thing. These are just far too expensive to be a daily cigarette kind of thing. There ain't no way in hell I could daily these. They're just far too expensive. And the draw is just a little bit too much kind of thing and everything like that kind of thing. But as a special occasion cigarette, these are fantastic. I like the packaging. I like the look of the cigarettes kind of thing. They look very unique. I like how the cigarettes taste. I like how they smoke more so than not. Overall, yeah, these cigarettes are gonna be getting a pretty good rating if I do say so myself. So what is the rating I'm thinking for the Flor Morada natural mix cigarettes from Mexico? And honestly, it's a toughie. I'd buy them again, but it would very much have to be a special occasion cigarette. And I will most certainly love smoking the rest of this pack. And were they worth 13 bucks? I think they were. These are really high quality cigarettes, but they are a little bit overpriced, I will admit, in my personal opinion. I think they're gonna be getting an 8.5 out of 10. I think an 8.5 out of 10 is probably a very deserved rating for these cigarettes right here. I do have some complaints about them. The draw, the, the draw, the airflow, the body, those are all very minor complaints on my behalf, I will admit. Along with the price tag as well, all of those factors are driving down the rating by just a little bit kind of thing, by only one and a half points. But still, these certainly do deserve an eight and a half out of 10 
These were fantastic. I'm so glad to have tried them. I am so impressed, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's all I wanted to say, though. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried these cigarettes right here, and let me know what y'all's thoughts are on them. Thank you so much for watching this video, though, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my review of the Flor Morada Natural Mix Cigarettes from Mexico. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to, well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?